Hello everyone, it's Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life and welcome back to my summer challenge. Uh, just to myself, I wanted to of course use up some pattern papers in my stash and if they didn't get used up, um, I was going get, to get rid of them by the end of August. I had a little bit of time on my hands this morning, however I couldn't really record. So my sister's here with me uh, and she's in Nora's room and it's kind of close to where I film and I just don't want to bug her so I'm trying not to film until she's gone um, to her appointments for the day but what I did is I had the stack of paper and I went through all of them and I I did really well I only have these four left um, that I I couldn't match with anything there's the back of them so I matched them with photos and I will I'm hoping to go ahead and grab some embellishing mints and some background papers and all of that too and just make little page kits for them so that I can then go ahead and create and even if they don't get done during the summer at least I have the page kits done and they're being put to good use I will probably try to use a few of them for 30 days of sketches combined with scrap timber that would be a really great way to get some of this stuff used up so I'm going to show you what I have and then uh, I'll start building some page kits with you. I probably, not sure if I'll get to them today or if it'll be a separate video, but at least you'll know what to look forward to. I started, um, this is actually from the end and it'll go to the, the beginning, but I had this piece of paper, which I originally planned to do a Project Life kind of spread, but I've kind of done that. I think I've used this piece before. I think I've used this piece before. So I kind of was like, eh, I don't know. I was even considering just getting rid of it, to be honest with you. But I placed these cute photos. So my daughter's birthday cake and her blowing out her candles. And I feel like in a weird way, it works. So we're going to go ahead and play with that. I'll grab some birthday theme stuff and we will create a layout off of that with this as a, a mat of some kind. This one I found and I think it's going to be really fun. I'm going to go ahead and tr and this isn't going to be used as the full 12 by 12. I want it as this matting so I'm going to do the cut it here and then add it here too. And it's just going to be a fun little place and then I'm going to build my layout on top of it. Now that being said I'm not sure I might end up cutting my photos. I'm not sure but I liked how it looked with that pop of color. Um, underneath it so I'm only going to use one of these photos to bear the other one's going to get covered up with a title or something but that is my plan for that one that was during spring break when we we were going on park adventures every day I managed to get some snow photos lined up so we'll go in get some snow themed supplies to add on top of this but it matched my um this color matched my scarf so I wanted to go with that and again originally I planned for it to use this for Nora but the photos I had I had in my hand and I wasn't gonna dig because I had a plenty to work with nothing was really going with that but I feel like that worked so that will be one um this was kind of just a random one this photo kind of fell on this paper and I'm like I think I can make that work. So we will see. It might just be a matting. It might be the background. I don't know, but I do feel like these are light enough that it kind of goes with the airiness of this piece of pattern paper as well. And then I grabbed, now it's going to be these two or these two. I just don't know which ones yet. Um, but this is that really cute um, crepe paper collection. And Marva reminded me of what it was, and I still can't remember. Um, but it definitely, this is going to be more of a bat, like a, a matting, but I felt like it worked, looked really good on there because I have a filter on these and I feel like it matches the filter really well. So I'm going to do that. And then this will be a little mini mat to go on top and we'll take it from there. So a boy page. And then I got this cute one of Barrett, these hearts, and the blue just works. And so I really like it. I'm not sure. I might do it as a background and do maybe a little whitewash. I'm not sure, but I think it's really cute, and I, I'm pretty sure I can make it work. So I went ahead and put Batman photos with hearts. And then, again, it's either going to be these two or these three. And either way, I think it'll be cute no matter what. But again, the muted colors um, 
match the the background this is from Mel piece and my orange carpet matches the orange like it's a really good match so I was happy for that the back of it has some airplanes on it but I thought even if I just use it to mat the photos I'll know it matches so went ahead and grabbed that um, I created an Easter page I really do like the idea of how this kind of matches and it's got a bunny so I might fussy cut out the bunny but it just it really does work for an Easter page so I went ahead and grabbed these two hopefully I'll be able to use both sheets and get Easter of this year with that photo documented. A pink paisley. I, I have been hoarding this this piece of paper, um, but I found these photos of them visiting the ducks, and I feel like the vibe just works. Really, just works. So we're gonna go ahead with that. I'll find. I have a couple duck ephemera, um, so hopefully I can find them and get them added to that. My kids feeding the ducks. Um, little Miss Nora's birthday. It has purple. She has purple pajamas. It's hard to get purple and purple to work, but it's a pretty decent match. Um, and this is a Once Upon a Time by Echo Park. But it, I think it, it's going to work really well. And I actually have an idea. Um, hopefully I can use it for um, a 30 Days of Sketches video. I have an idea of it. So I'm hoping. Uh, this one, I grabbed the whole collection and hopefully I can make it all work together. But I saw this little Always in the Pursuit of Magic, and they're at the uh, Magical Fairy Forest, so I felt like that was such a great fit. Um, so I might just cut about that and then use the rest of it to, to make it work. And they're both in blue, which I feel is going to help. I can make things tie in if I need to. But yeah, so that is the All Heart Collection, which I really love this collection. I have nothing, like... I just wanted to be able to use it and I like the pink with it too. So I feel like this is going to be okay. I'm going to be able to make that work really well. And I think finally I have Valentine's Day from this year and I have three sheets of Valentine's Day paper. So I'm thinking I'm going to use this one as a the border. This I felt works well for a mat and um, I'm not sure about this piece but I'm sure I can make it I can make it all tie in together. So I've grabbed them. They're all there together to work. And I hope to get that documented as well. So a few different kind of things, a few different themes. And I'm excited to get started. I'm going to have to find out where things are. I'm probably going to have to do them one at a time because I do keep certain things kind of together. Like my birthday theme stuff is in one little area. So I might try and go do that come back and share with you a couple page kits. This video is eight minutes long. Um, my kids are kind of playing, being a little bit loud, so I might wrap this one up for today. Um, I'll get it up and then stay tuned and I will get some page kits made up for you. Uh, maybe three videos to do these page kits. We'll see how it goes. Um, but I hope you enjoyed a little bit. Look, and to see that I am I was serious about trying to get these used up. I went through, I managed to find some photos to get with the papers and that's the first step. So uh, thanks so much for watching. I will say, I actually meant to mention this in the beginning. I was inspired to do this thanks to the oh so fabulous, she's crafty Shannon. So if you're watching this, thank you for the inspiration. I was watching your nifty 50 uh, this morning and it, I've been in a bit of a slump um, and not necessarily feeling scrapbooking and you you made me want to put some things together so thank you for that inspiration um we have the most amazing community of scrapbookers and i have another video that will be coming up hopefully um early next week actually it's build a page next week maybe at the end of this week or at the beginning of the following week um from another very special scrappy friend that um, made a sketch just for me to use that I can then share. So I'm really excited to share that with you and I'm hoping to get that done um, today or tomorrow. And like I said, if not, I won't post it probably during build a page. I'll post it after, uh, but I'll try and share the sketch early so you guys can play too. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching and have a fabulous day. Bye everyone.